We are not apart from nature, we are a part of nature. If we betray nature, we betray us. If we save nature, we save us. Prince EA. Hello and welcome to day 4 of the Tanim Online 5 Day Challenge. I am Deborah Lemuel, also known as Debbie. I am your artist, mountain girl turned urban tita, and your composter next door. So I started this challenge to help bring the beauty and bounty of nature to each and everyone's home so that we get to truly understand why we have to take care of the environment, especially during these times. Please be reminded of the challenge guidelines in our Facebook group so that you can fully maximize your learning in this community. I want to be honest with you guys. When I started this challenge, I had the ultimate intention of keeping each person's impact small and non-disruptive. Now what do I mean by that? By learning the skills on building self-reliance, self-sufficiency, and sustainability, each and every household will be able to provide food on the table, cut grocery costs by almost half, and ultimately take out the demand for fast mass consumption and mass production that ultimately detaches us from nature and also destroys the environment bit by bit. If we all have our own friendly neighborhood gardens, we can also solve the problem of food insecurity and ultimately work for and with nature while it provides what's enough for us. Nature provides well for everyone if we know how to follow her cycles and flows. And all of us eventually will truly understand and embrace the true meaning of having enough. So for day four, we will be talking about being in the cycle. When we were in school, we were taught at least a basic idea of the life cycle of animals and plants, like how a caterpillar turns into a butterfly and other babies turn into adults. And then also some ecosystem cycles like the nitrogen cycle, the water cycle, and the carbon cycle. Now for nature, what comes in must go out, and then the cycle repeats and continues. I remember an artist named Cynthia Bauzon Are sharing about her realization on what nature taught her during the pandemic. She said that nature taught her that everything is essential. Even the tiniest speck of life is essential to the grander scheme of things. Now, I would like to believe that each and every one of you watching this video hopes and believes in a more sustainable and collaborative future. That is why you are willing to put in the work today. If you haven't heard this being said to you, then let me be the first. Keep going. You are now part of a good loop that doesn't detach nature from the picture. Now, some people call it recycling, some people call it sustainability, others call it the circular economy, some people even consider it as giving back or paying forward. Now, whatever term resonates with you, I wish to invite you to go deeper within yourself Go with your intuition and then later on just let logic explain everything because we're going to do something different today. Now what do I mean? I am inviting you to be part of an experiential type of learning and not just watching a video and writing stuff down afterwards. Now if you're going to do this within your seed habit time, then well and good, let's proceed. But if not, I highly encourage you to find a time within today to be able to bring yourself to a healing break through this activity. Now let's begin. First, find yourself in a place with minimal to no distractions. Then go into a comfortable position whether it be sitting down, standing up, or lying down with enough access to the audio of this video. You don't have to see me, you just have to hear my voice clearly. Then slowly, when you're there, start to close your eyes and notice your breath. As you do that, Start relaxing your neck, your shoulders, your chest, and belly. Let the air naturally come in and out. 
of your body and slowly make its way throughout the rest. Take a few moments to relax even further. This time is for you. Allow yourself to accept what your body brings in. If at any point in time you feel like moving or stretching or even yawning or just being still, go for it. You can start small with your fingers and your toes and then eventually move up to your arms and legs. Your hips and chest. And finally, your core. I invite you to be open to the sensations that you feel as you think of the word enough. In Tagalog, sapat. No more, no less. Walang sobra, walang kulang. Are there thoughts or images coming up for you? Are there memories of how you understood the concept of not lacking anything? Of contentment? Of trust? Maybe even of faith? And ultimately of being present and connected with nature? What does that feel in your body right now? Keep breathing and keep moving if you like. are all for you. And start to gather yourself once again. And gathering your reflections and realizations with you. As you come back, you have time. Slowly, bit by bit, come back to the present. As the music slowly fades out, that you still need time, you can pause this video and continue to bring yourself back. Take your time. It is yours. When you're ready, you can proceed to the action the next part of this video. Remember to breathe. Remember to relax. And remember to just let yourself 
one that is connected to nature. Welcome back and thank you for being part of that experience. Now make sure you hydrate yourself and keep yourself well ventilated at this point. Just to let you know, I am currently training to become a dance movement therapy practitioner. Now, dance movement therapy is under the umbrella of the expressive arts and is considered and backed up by a lot of studies to be as helpful as other psychotherapies. So I hope you found that healing and also therapeutic. So for the action steps, here are the things that you need to do. Number one, to help you further process and maybe reflect on the experience that you just had, you are welcome to answer this question, where am I at now? Now you can write your answer in your seed habit journal and just let the thoughts flow. That way you can also step back and really look at how you process it and how you felt it. Next, connected to your seed goal, you may want to ask yourself, what does enough mean for me? Now, it can refer to the effort that you're putting into this challenge right now. It can refer to the actual resources that you have. It can refer to the time that you want to allot. Or it can refer to other things. As long as you meditate on the word enough and write stuff down again, then that's well and good for today. And finally, just to encourage or maybe even intrigue your direct circle of influence, make a post or shoot a video or maybe just put up a story about what enough means to you. Now, this can be a bit of a philosophical or abstract question. So at this point, I am actually encouraging you to use art to answer that question. Now, what do I mean? You can either sing a song or make a poetry or even take a picture of an artwork that you did for your question number one and then post that. This will not only help the people around you become more aware of this concept or this pressing concern of what enough means, but it will also have a therapeutic or a healing effect on you. Like what I said earlier, backed up by studies and research, art is a healing modality. So I suggest that you take part in it, this free resource, and let yourself heal as you also share that with the world. Oh, and by the way, before you let self-doubt and anxiety come into your head, recite this mantra. All art is good art. Now, that didn't come from me. I learned it from Magis Creative Spaces, a center for expressive arts, wherein I'm currently an intern. Oh, and don't forget to tag me, deboralemo.ph, and to use the hashtags Tanim Challenge and Seed Goals in your posts. I look forward to seeing your stories, to enjoying your art, and to learning from you as well. Now, to sum it up, we reviewed the guidelines for the challenge. We learned about the truth behind this challenge, well, I guess my personal truth. We experienced reconnecting with nature within our bodies and our homes. And finally, laid down the action steps for today. Again, another mini worksheet will be provided to you in our Facebook group. And that's it. I hope this session was helpful for you. And if anything comes up and you need more space and time to process it, let me know so that I can help you. If you also have questions, comments, suggestions, please leave them in the comments below or directly message me via PM. And until tomorrow, I'll see you then. Have a blessed Thursday. Bye.